If you're like me, you likely ripped up your NCAA basketball bracket within the first few hours of the tournament starting. Now, it has been an incredibly difficult season or tournament to predict this year. And again, if you're like me, you probably did not expect the four teams who are currently in the Final Four set to take place on April 1st. You probably didn't expect those teams to make it there. We've got Florida Atlantic, San Diego State, Miami, and UConn. They are the teams remaining in the NCAA Final Four. The number one seeds have all been knocked off. And these are the teams left to play for the national championship. So on this video today here on Z Code System, we're going to talk about the final four, some of the uh, odds going into the uh, the semifinals, which will take place on Saturday, April the 1st, with the final taking place on the Monday, April the 3rd. And I'm going to give you my pick to win this final four. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just say my team that I thought, or the teams that I thought would go deep in the tournament, Houston was one, Alabama another, and Purdue all failing <clears throat> to get really past the first or second hurdles of the NCAA basketball tournament. So we've got this coming up here on the weekend, so you're going to definitely want to get all the information before you make your bet on the tournament. If you haven't already, if you haven't locked in those odds, be sure to go over to the blog. As you can see there, I wrote up the blog. I gave uh, a, an example, or I shouldn't say an example, an explanation for each team of why I believe they could win the NCAA basketball tournament. And at the very end, I'm, probably, I'm going to give you my pick, who I think now will win the NCAA basketball tournament and the Final Four. So let's take a look at the odds going into the, the games on Saturday. And I'm just going to use Bet365 here, and we're just going to scroll down here to the basketball section. And if you've watched our videos before, you know that Bet365 has a fantastic range of basketball leagues that it covers, and uh, a lot more than some of its competitor sports books. Uh, you can use bet on all of these different leagues from the WNBA, NCAA, Euro League to the Adriatic League, Albanian League, all these different leagues. But of course, we're just talking about NCAA basketball. And uh, I want to look at first, we'll go to the game lines here because I think I can get to what I want to. We've got props, we've got futures, and futures is what I want to look at to start with here. And as you can see there, and I think the odds have shifted a little bit since I wrote the blog on and posted on Z Code System. I put the blog up uh, about the middle of the week, and I'm coming to you, I guess, a day later after publishing the blog. And I believe, I'll have to look back, that the odds have shifted slightly. Now, we've got Connecticut, UConn are the favorites at minus 115, San Diego State plus 325, Miami plus 450, and Florida Atlantic with the longest odds going into the final four to make, or I shouldn't say make, but to win the national championship. So this is going to be a fantastic um, tournament, one that no one would have expected from the get-go. And as we know that, because we have seen so many uh, incredible upsets going into uh, the Final Four from day one, we have seen some upsets. All right, so let's look at the game lines now as we go into this. And we've got our first game, which is going to be played, and that is Florida Atlantic taking on San Diego State. Now, this is going to be a really good game. San Diego State with a, a smaller team. Uh, they don't have a lot of bigs, and uh, they, they play possibly more in transition, and they will be doing that in this game. They are going into this game as the favorite at minus 150, Florida Atlantic at plus 130. And the way that Florida Atlantic have played, you might want to put a few dollars down on them to pick up the win in this game uh, on the money line. It's a, a nice little bet you can place there on Florida Atlantic. And I think to me, compared to the UConn Miami game, I think this one's a little bit more of a toss up. I think that either team could really win this game. And I would go ahead and pick the underdog here, Florida Atlantic. They're wearing the Cinderella slipper here at the NCAA basketball tournament. And I think they could pull another upset by beating San Diego State and going on to the final four. Now, could Florida Atlantic become the uh, Gonzaga? You know, we have saw Gonzaga rise to prominence in the late 90s and all through the 2000s, still unable to win an NCAA basketball championship. But Florida Atlantic could be that 
team or of that ilk going forward. I like Florida Atlantic to win this game personally. Now, if we look at the Miami-UConn game, UConn have really been putting on the points, putting up the points, I should say, uh, in the NCAA tournament, blowing out some teams. And even though Miami will give them a very difficult game, and you can see that UConn is the favorite at minus 240 on the money line, I think UConn are going to win this game, and I think they're going to put up some points uh, in this matchup in the Final Four. This will be the second game taking place. As you can see, those are the British European times here for these games, uh, not the North American times. So I'm back in UConn to win this game, and that's also going to lead me to the pick, my pick to win the national championship. And I think UConn are definitely going to pick this up, pick up the title. Now, uh, Florida Atlantic are the long shots. They're going to avoid UConn in the, the Final Four. If both teams make it to the finals, well, then they'll play. You might want to put a, a, a dollar or two, a $10 bet there on Florida Atlantic, just in case, just a little bit of an underdog bet there, just a little cheeky bet to back Florida Atlantic, the Owls, to pick up the national championship. A little bit of a fun bet there. But if you're being serious about this, I'm back in UConn to pick up the national title. Now, UConn, uh, haven't won the national championship in quite some time. They've had some down years uh, in recent campaigns. Their last national championship came in the 2014 season, and over the last seven NCAA champion, excuse me, NCAA tournaments, they only qualified three times. They have been super impressive uh, along the way, being St. Mary's by 15, winning by 13 over Arkansas in the Sweet 16 and humiliating Gonzaga by 28 points in the Elite Eight. And if you go back to everything I always say in these videos during the NCAA basketball tournament every March and April, don't back Gonzaga. It's what I always say. Don't back them to win the national championship. I like this UConn team to win the tournament, and I think UConn will pick up the national championship come Monday night. So that's the team I'm backing. First championship since 2014, and... I'm banking on UConn to win it. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Who's going to win the NCAA championship this year? And what are your picks for the Final Four on Saturday and your picks on Monday in the championship game? I've got UConn going all the way, but, you know, maybe maybe a cheeky little $10 bet there on Florida Atlantic to pick up, you know, the national championship. It's just a little fun bet. All right, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon back here on Z Code System.